YouTube and on the website. And uh, tonight I'm preaching on how the grace of God uh, helped Noah. Give a good welcome to Mr. Griffith as he comes to sing for us. Amen. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. Su gracia me temer. Us away and do. Oh, quan preciosa gracia ye, cuando mi alma creyó. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Now I want you to open your Bible with me to the sixth chapter, the sixth chapter of the book of Genesis. 打开圣经创世纪第六章。Abre conmigo al capítulo seis de Génesis. And thank you for coming tonight. We've got a great crowd here tonight. 今天晚上有很多朋友在场，感谢大家来。Gracias por venir. Tenemos gran cantidad acá. I think we've got the most people in any church in downtown Los Angeles on Sunday night because they don't meet on Sunday night anymore. 我相信我们现在这是洛杉矶市中心的我们教会里面人最多了，因为他们都没有晚上礼拜了。Tenemos el grupo más grande domingo por la noche por causa de que ya no se reúnen domingo por la noche. What a mistake! 太太大的错误。Uh, just about everything the preachers do now is a big mistake. Can you imagine anything any more fool thing than closing down the evening service? I, I just can't, can't imagine anything more stupid. I'm talking to you, Mister. If, if you closed your church down on Sunday night, why in the world would you do that? 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 No puedo imaginar algo más tonto de que alguien ha cerrado el servicio domingo por la noche. Your young people don't have any place to go. You wonder niña. why they sin. No wonder they sin. They got no place to go on. You ought to open it on Saturday night too. 难怪你们教会的年轻人外被到外边去犯罪，他们礼拜天晚上没有地方去了。我告诉你们，礼拜六晚上也应该开门给他们。Look, it never the same as Abrilo también el domingo el sábado por la noche. And and you said, well, the old ladies in the church don't like it. Well, they don't have to come. Tell them just to come Sunday morning. Have the young people come Sunday night. Pretty soon you'll have a, a lively church like this one. And don't let the old ladies make it die. They did that with the Methodists. They did that with the Presbyterians. If you let that happen to our Independent Baptists, shame on you. Don't let the old ladies kill your church. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that Heimers, he's um, he hates old ladies. No, I don't. There's one right there, ninety in her ninety-six year, sitting on the first row. Them that are born again, them that are alive, them that are full of the Spirit will come, and the others doesn't matter whether they come or not anyway. He said, "Oh, he doesn't like old ladies. I tell you, we're sitting in the front row, ninety-six years old ladies. You know, to get to the new birth, friends, you know, they'll come. Don't let them kill your church. 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 Don't let them
No he hecho en contra de las danzonitas, no, acá hay una de 96 años de edad, renacida en la primera fila. Eso que son renacidos vendrán. One fellow said, I don't ever listen to your sermons, but I always turn them on because I want to hear how you get down on the preachers. Amen. So that's good. I'm glad he watches that part of it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll help him too. 有些人这样告诉我说，我从来不听你讲，直到你指责那些宣道士的时候，我就听了，很好。他继续听下去。But look, the way I've got it figured is something is wrong with our churches. 但是我这样想的，我们教会中间确实有些错的地方。Tiene que ver que algo está mal con las iglesias. I mean, how could it be right? 他们怎么能正确呢？ When I was a boy, there was there were churches all open all over downtown LA. Now they're all gone. 当时我年轻的时候，他们教会 And don't tell me that Victory Outreach replaced them because Victory Outreach did not replace them. It it replaced the dog pound. That's about all. That's right. Right. Yeah. I was young when I was a boy. There were many churches in Los Angeles, but now they're all gone. Don't tell me that Victory Outreach replaced them. They didn't replace them. I'm sure there's some good people there. I just haven't met them. I know that there are some good people there. I just haven't met them. Most of them go around, go around, go around, telling you don't have to go to church to be a Christian. Do we need to hear that? The devil tells us that every day. Why do we need people from Victory Outreach telling us what the devil tells us? That's my own. That's the only thing I, I'm just trying to figure out is the Victory Outreach people say you don't have to go to church, you don't have to quit smoking, you don't have to put a tie on, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. Why not just go to Venice Beach and become a hippie again? I, I mean, the devil's telling people that. Why do the churches need to do it? That's right. Right? 那些在 Victory Outreach 教会中间的人告诉你说，无需去到教会里面与朋友相聚，也可以做一个基督徒。但是，我何必听他们呢？魔鬼都会这样告诉你。El mundo está diciendo que ve a la playa y no vaya a la iglesia porque tiene que decir eso. El diablo, el diablo ya lo está diciendo. Somebody said, "Old man, you're mad." I'm not mad. I'm smiling. I enjoy, this is the part I enjoy. Maybe you didn't figure that out. Well, God, you should. I'm, I'm digging on.、It. 我对你讲，这是我所喜欢讲的一部分。No, I'm trying to have a day to make me good. Amen and hallelujah. Amen and hallelujah. You know, here's the way it got in. It was a few hippies, and and they kicked him out of the churches. I was on the hippie side. 要叫当时呢，有那么一些嬉皮士，我是帮助他们说话的。Había hippies los pelos largos y los botaron, pero yo estaba al lado de ellos. I really was. You know, they, Jack Hiles was preaching. Nobody can sit here with wire rim glasses. Wire rimmed glasses. What was the matter with that? Well, John Lennon wears them. 有些人讲宣道，你不能戴那些铁边的、那些金边的眼镜，因为这 John Lennon 讲。Dijeron de que nadie puede entrar con los espejuelos de 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 alambre de oro por causa de que John Lennon los tenía. So wire rimmed glasses were sinful because、uh, they were the kind of glasses that John Lennon wore. 因为 John Lennon 曾经戴这个眼镜，所以你戴的眼镜就有罪了。Decían de que era pecaminoso porque era el tipo de de espejuelo de que tenía John Lennon. Wasn't too long before I saw Curtis Hudson wearing them. 这个不久之后呢 ，Curtis Hudson 就开始戴着眼镜了。Curtis Hudson 都穿了不少的衬衫。Obviously, there were some other people wearing them too. 毫无疑问，其他人也会戴。But the way it happened was, the hippies said, "Oh, let us come in and don't make us dress up." So a few churches let them come in, sit along the back. 结果呢，有那么几个教会允许那些嬉皮士不需要穿的整齐，就可以坐到在教会的后面。Los hippies dijeron de no entrar, no nos hagan vestir bien, y algunos dijeron sí, pero por la parte de atrás. And after a while here in California, you know, it got to be popular to have the to have the、uh, Chuck Smith churches. 结果呢，不久之后呢，就好好多人就像 Chuck Smith. What, what are they called? Calvary Chapel, yeah, amen. And、um, and so they got popular. And after a while. The whole thing turned around. 结果呢？不久之后呢？整个的事情刚好相反了，掉过头来了。Entonces fue popular tener el Calvary Chapel y después de un tiempo todo volteó. First, everybody was mad at the hippies for coming in with blue jeans on. Next thing you knew, they were mad at the people for coming with a suit on. You know the biggest sin, the biggest sin, the biggest sin that you can commit in Calvary Chapel is to put a tie on. A tie, a tie. There. I don't want to get demon possessed. 
Ta so ye bu yang dai ling dai, bu yang dai ling dai. Ya pronto dijeron que no puedes tener corbata do a saco y en a Calvary Chapel el pecado peor que puedes tener es ponerte una corbata. So the interesting thing is that the only people I mean, you can bring a Buddhist in there, put it tight. Sure, here, give me one. Give me two, I'll put them both on. <laughs> Roman Catholic, they don't have any problem with it, sure. Some lost drug addict, put a tie on you. Yeah, if you can get it around my neck, you know. And nobody minds. But you get somebody from Calvary Chapel, they come through that door and say, put a tie on. What? Why, you legalist! You are! You're as, almost as bad as Hitler! No ties! You can't go to heaven with a tie on! So, the way I look at it, that's legalism. It's legalism to tell me I can't wear a tie. I've been wearing a tie all my life to church. What gives some snaggle-toothed kid with his hair hanging down his back the right to tell me I can't wear a tie when I've been doing it all of my life and I'm going to continue doing it and after I'm dead you look at the coffin, I'll still have one on. Yeah! Now the text Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 创世纪第六章第八节就是我们今天的经文。And just these words and boy are they they're important words. 这些几句话几个字。But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. You may be seated. Noah lived in a time of great apostasy, according to the ancient rabbis. Noah Genesis 4:26 tells us they began to call idols by the name of God. Genesis the way the ancient rabbis translated it. Then down through the patriarchal age, the descendants of Seth fell into greater and greater corruption. Spiraling down into ever deeper apostasy. That's what happened to evangelicals during the last 200 years. Just about the same thing. That's just about the same thing. That, and you know, I'm getting down on Calvary Chapel Victory Outreach. Get down in the Baptist churches. Oh, my soul, I've seen some things in Baptist churches that would curl your hair. My wife and I used to go to the Southern Baptist Convention. You'll have it different places. That's where all the Southern Baptists come together, several thousand of them. And we used to go every year to pass out uh, Dr. Uh, Bill Powell's a Southern Baptist Journal. And my wife was going to give birth to those two big boys. And she was out like that. I mean, way, way out. We went to the Southern Baptist Convention held that year in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, in uh, Philadelphia. And people were throwing those newspapers at her. They'd go outside to smoke between the ser services. And the old men out there smoking, they'd throw the papers at her and they'd spit on her. 
She Do actually spit on her. A little Hispanic woman with her out like that. Obvious. And those ba- Southern Baptists, they'd spit at my wife. Y eso gordo de Ayabasureño Bautista fumando de aún escupiendo sobre mis fuerzas pequeñitas. We weren't attacking them. Dr. Powell's paper simply listed the things they were teaching in the seminaries that were wrong against the Bible. And oh, they didn't want that. That's Heimer's and Powell's junk. And they'd spit at her and flick their ha- the cigarette ashes at her and throw the paper at her. And we got back to our uh, to our room that evening and she looked at me with tears in her eyes and she said, Robert, Robert, these people don't seem like they're Christians. 结果当我们回到旅店的时候，晚上，他是带着眼泪这样告诉我说：“罗伯特，这些人根本不像基督徒。”They don't seem like they're Christians, Robert. 但是他们看起来根本没有基督徒的样子。Nobody I thought to myself, my little Hispanic wife has got more sense than a lot of these preachers and a lot of these teachers to realize that a person is not a born-again Christian. Not a born again Christian who acts like Jack Shap or Jack Hiles or those Southern Baptists or Bob Gray. They're just not Christians, that's all. They have not been born again. No pensé de que mi, mi esposa pequeñita latina, de que ella tiene más sentido, de que estos no son renacidos, gente que actúa tal como Jack Sharp y Al Hyle no son renacidos. I can't uh, explain it too much because you still don't get it. They still don't get it. Somebody will come up to me and say, We went to the First Baptist Church and it, it was said First Baptist, was, and it wasn't good. Well, honey, if it says First Baptist, it almost certainly isn't any good because it means it's an American Baptist church and they're as liberal as goose liver. Don't ever go to First Baptist Church. Any place, any place north of the Mason Dixon line that says First Baptist Church, stay away from it, stay away from it like it was a snake. It's going to be a, a worse place than you ever heard me explain in about Golden Gate Seminary. But isn't it First Baptist? Yeah, First. It was the first Baptist church of hell. Presbyterians, most of them even worse, and the Methodists are all the way gone, and the Episcopalians are now ordaining a homosexual priests. So, no matter how much I talk about it, people don't get it. What's wrong with the churches? Same thing that happened in the days of Noah. See, there isn't any way you can get this. If you hear me just once in a while, you'll say he's exaggerating. The only way you can find out what really happened to the churches is to do some reading. Reading. And if you do some reading, you find out that the Methodists used to be on fire. They had a, they had a major revival in the churches every 10 years. 
When you, when, you, when, you, when you hear praying, oh God, send a revival. I've never seen one. The Methodists have one. Amen. When you hear praying, oh God, send a revival. I've never seen one. The Methodists had one every ten years. Los metodistas tenían avivamiento cada diez años. No estaban diciendo, oh, manda avivamiento. The Presbyterians had one every every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Presbyterians had one every ten, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. The Pres Though and and George Whitfield, those men uh, and uh, uh, others, those men were Episcopal priests, and they brought gr the great awakening that changed the whole face of the world. Whitfield 两个兄弟，而且还有这个呃呃 George Whitfield， 他们都是圣公会的宣道士，结果带来大规模的复兴。Ah, los metodistas con Juan y Carlos Wesley y el George Whitfield tuvieron gran avivamiento. Now we here are we here we're down today where we're ground down to just a few just a few little independent Baptists. 现在你们到现在这个离到反教的时代中，你们仅仅这里那里有我们几间教会，一个是教呃一个这个其他的教会。Y ahora solamente te quedan unos cuantos poquitos de independientes Baptistas. And with some of the craziest ideas you could think of. What happened to us? I'm going to tell you. 到底这教会发生了什么事情？我告诉你。Que pasó en nosotros te quiero decir. Like it was in the ancient world, so it happened in America. 就像古时候发生的事情，美国现在也是这样。Tal como en el mundo antiguo así pasó en América. In the 1820s. 在一八二十年代，罗密罗就先到缅甸。There was a young man that had a false conversion. 有那么年轻人，他有个假的转变。Of a hoping con falsa conversión. And his name was Charles Finney. 名字叫查尔斯·菲尼。Nombre de él era Carlos Finney. He was a very proud young man. 他是一个非常傲慢的年轻人。Un joven muy orgulloso. He thought he knew more than the Westminster Confession. 他以为自己知道比那个西敏寺那个教训呢更多。Pensó que sabía más que la Convención de Westminster. He thought he knew more than the thirty-nine articles. 他总以为比自己知道超过了三十九条教文。Pensaba que sabía más que los treinta-nueve artículos. More than the Heidelberg Confession. 比那个海德堡他们信信经更加多，他以为。Más que la Convención de Heidelberg. He was an attorney. He had never studied theology, but he knew more than all the reformers. All the reformers were wrong, he said, and no one has been preaching salvation for these two hundred years, he said. 他说呢，自己他自己是一个律师，从来没有读过神学。结果他说，一切改革派都是错了。Y era tan mal. Él pensaba que sabía más que los reformadores y de que nadie había estado predicando la salvación. And this young man who rejected the Reformation, rejected Luther, rejected Wesley, rejected Whitfield, rejected Asiel Nettleton, rejected all the confessions of the Protestants, and said that only he was preaching the gospel. He got people so fired up and so wild that the whole bunch of them followed him. 结果他说，一切的要要改革派都完全错了。他拒绝了那些卢德，拒绝了一些的啊，现在美国的宣道士，拒绝了这卫斯理，而且拒绝其他的宣道士，带领了一大帮人跟随他的假宗教来就跟随下去。Este joven que da rechazó a la reformación, que rechazó a Lutero, que rechazó a Wesley, que rechazó a los reformadores, él dijo salvajemente de cosas y la gente le siguió. And more and more of the Presbyterians, and more and more of the Methodists, and more and more of the Congregationalists began to follow him and to give up the old ways and the old religion and the old theology. 结果越来越多的长老会寻到中国各种各样的教派，跟随他的邪恶的理论走向了。Él dijo de que él sabía y los otros no sabían y la gente empezaron a seguir a él y rechazar la teología antigua. We have reason to believe that Finney was influenced by demons 
And he may have even been demon possessed. We have no reason to believe that Philip was under the influence of demons, or even that he was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe that Philip was possessed by demons. And we believe No mention of sin. I mean, I have. No, I mentioned the backup. I have his written testimony. No mention of sin. I have his written testimony. No mention of backup. No mention of the gospel. No mention of the No mention of the gospel. No mention of Christ's atoning blood. No mention of Jesus Christ's shedding of blood. No mention of the sacred expiatory of Jesus. No mention of being forgiven. No mention of being forgiven. No mention of being forgiven. And no mention of Jesus. Yeah, no, he did not mention Jesus. He did not mention Jesus. I have become convinced that Finney was not only unsaved, but also very possibly demonized. I am now more and more sure. Probably, Finney 根本就没有得到转变，还有很可能得到鬼附身。Estoy convencido de que Finney no era salvo y probablemente endemoniado. Doctor Michael Horton said, and I'm quoting him: In Finney's theology, God is not Sovereign in Finney's theology, God is not sovereign. This Michael Horton 博士这样指出，在菲尼的理论中间，神并非至高无上的。Al citar Dr. Horton, ha dicho de que la teología de Finney, Dios no es soberano. Man is not a sinner. 人并非生来就是有罪的。El hombre no es pecador. The atonement is not true. 赎罪的根本无法，这是真正是还清罪债。La expiación no es real. Justification by the imputation of Christ's righteousness is an insult to reason. 借助他人基督的义来称义呢，是对理智的贬低。Justificación por la imputación de la es un insulto a la razón. The new birth is simply a, man, a manipulation of the emotions. 他说呢，新生不过就是正确的手段来摆弄你的情感的成果。El nuevo nacimiento solamente manipulando la emoción. And Mr. Horton, Dr. Horton said, Finney is not only an, an enemy of evangelicalism; Finney is an enemy of historic Christianity. Unquote. 这个霍顿博士讲指出，不仅仅是福音派的敌人，菲尼成了历史性基督教的敌人。Scholars agree that Finney was the author and promoter of what James Adams calls decisional regeneration. 学者们都同意菲尼就是觉知重生这一概念的作者。按照这个雅各斯亚当斯这样讲，洛黑斯科拉的意思，那个菲尼也会，那个作者 James Adams 意思。Is decisional regeneration. Dr. Kagan and I have borrowed the British term decisionism. He calls it decisional regeneration. We call it decisionism. And I find now that it's on the internet. Our definition, thank God, is on the internet, and it's a good definition. It, our definition of decisionism is this: that man can do something to be saved. 我发现了，我们对这个觉知主义这么一个定义呢，已经在网上是可以找到，就是人可以做一些事情帮助自己得救。El llamó de eso de decisional regeneración. Nosotros lo llamamos decisionismo y está en la red de que el hombre puede ser algo para ser salvo. Now our text said Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. 我们的经文这样讲说，挪亚在耶和华的眼前蒙恩。It does not say that Noah had grace in the eyes of God. He did not find grace because he was good. There's not a sign of that. Yeah, that's not because he was good. He found grace in the eyes of God. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. He did not find grace because he was good. A college, and there's a whole section devoted to Charles G. Finney. 要叫去到这个耶利诺那里面，可以看到整个的一个部分讲到了这菲尼的事。When the bus at the lugar de Billy Graham in Wheaton, Illinois, I went section I para Finney. The president of Wheaton, who was a fine man but deluded,、uh, wrote a book. Very famous man, 
V. Raymond Edmond. And Dr. Edmond wrote a book called Finney Lives On! Exclamation point. As though that were something good. And these men that followed Finney, that followed him very closely, and uh, all the evangelists and so forth that came down through, especially Billy Sunday, uh, who preached this whole sermon on get on the water wagon without ever mentioning Jesus, never one mention of Jesus' name, and preach on, get on the water wagon. Now come and get, take my hand and say, Bill, I will never drink again. I'm on the water wagon. Come and get saved. Come and get saved. They come and shake hands with him, and all the people come down, and they claim that six million people came and shook Billy Sunday's hand to get saved. And they even took a picture of his hand. 他们很多的宣导士呢，就学他们的啊，就觉知主义。比利·桑德就是其中一个榜样。他说：“你们要戒戒酒，到前面来握我的手，你们就得救。”照了相片，他的手。You good to get on the water wagon, but it doesn't save you. 要告诉你们，上了他们那个呃载水的车，很大，不能让你得救。I've seen that hand. They took a photograph of his hand like that, and they said, "This is the hand that more people shook to get saved than any other." 他说就是这一双手。And they put that picture. They put it up in churches. 在教会各地方都挂了这个手的相片。You've seen it, haven't you? You have been to the photo of this man. It's in books. You've seen it, haven't you? The, the hand that shook more people's hand when they got saved than any other person. And I, I, I'll bring it to you. I'll show you. It's in several books. I want to tell you something, friend. That hand never got anybody saved. I don't care if it's Billy Sunday's hand. I don't care if it's Jack Hiles' hand. I don't care if it's Jack Shap's hand. You don't get saved by coming forward and shaking somebody by the hand. You've got to get a hold of Jesus Christ. Without him, you'll go to hell. Somebody said you're gonna get a you're gonna get in trouble, Heimers. And I'm already in trouble. We're all in trouble. We're in we're in Barack Obama's America. We're already in trouble. You might as I might as well tell you the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. We're already in trouble. Beginning with Finney and continuing throughout the 20th century, Decisionism brought millions upon millions of unconverted people into a superficial experience. 结果从那个十八世纪二十年代开始呢，这个觉知主义是成千上万、几百万年前进入教会，根本没有得到重生。Empezando con Vinny, continuando al siglo XX, la eso trajo la gente a una decisión superficial. It, it didn't even get hardly any of them into the churches. And what was the man's name, Dr. Kagan, that started the GARBC, General Association of Regular Baptists? Put your head through the door. R.T. Ketchum. Ketchum. Thank you. I had a block on it. A little al Alzheimer's, not, not enough to notice yet. Uh, but R.T. Ketchum did a study on Billy Graham. R.T. Ketchum did a R.T. Ketchum studied all the day about Billy Graham. Now, R.T. Ketchum was a great man. He's not, 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 not nobody to fool with. He's the one that got a lot of them to come out of the Northern Baptist Convention and formed the General Association of Regular Baptists, where 
uh, Dr. Robert L. Sumner was ordained. 结果呢，他就是很多人离开了北美这个浸信协会，让他们加入了我们一个组织，独立浸信会，就是这个啊，三本博士在那里面受洗。Ese fue el que casó de que muchos dejaron la convención del norte y de que se juntaron con los bautistas de general regular, donde fue ordenado Sumner. Now in 1957, Billy Graham held a crusade for three months, not for three days like he did when he was old, for three months, every night, every Sunday afternoon. For three months in San Francisco in the Cow Palace. That's the name. That's the name of the like the convention center. Gerpeli, he was in San Francisco for three months. 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 Thousands of people came forward in that Billy Graham crusade. 我告诉你们，几万、上几十万那些人来参加了他这个宣道大会。Yes, the millions of people came to pray in that crusade for Billy Graham. I forget the exact number. It's in it's in my book, Preaching to a Dying Nation. Uh, but it was it was over a quarter of a million people that came forward. 大概呢，走到前面去呢，大概有二十五万。Y no me recuerdo, pero era quizá como un cuarto de a de millón de gente. Doctor Ketchum. Did a very careful study. He took the rolls of every church, every evangelical church in the entire San Francisco Bay Area. Ketchum 博士呢做了很详细的调查，把整个三藩市地区的全部教会那个人名单把它记下来，看他们怎么样，有没有参加的会。El estudió con mucho cuidado toda tomó la lista de todas las iglesias de la esa área de los Ángeles, de San Francisco. And he put down the number, the people that were there. The month before the three-month crusade started. 结果他就把这教会参加的人数记载下来，就是他们宣道大会开始之前的人数。不说一 número de la gente que había estado antes de la cruzada. Then he took the same survey the month after the crusade, the three-month crusade ended. You know how many people there were? Two hundred and fifty thousand people came forward. You know how many people came into the churches? How much the numbers of the churches went up in the Bay Area? Thirteen people. 我要告诉你们，在他们宣道大会结束之后呢，虽然有二十五万的人走到前面准备接受主，但是整个三分之一区教会人数增长有多少呢？十三人。Aunque un cuarto de millón de gente vino al frente, solamente fueron añadidos a las iglesias trece personas. Millions of dollars spent. 几百万美金投进去，那么做这个组织。Millones de dólares. Big billboards. Here, Billy Graham. 很多那个广告牌，听葛佩里宣道。Grande rotolos de escucha Billy Graham. Buses bringing the people in. 那些那个公车呢，带那些人一车一车叫运进来。Octopuses drive la gente. A two thousand voice choir. 而且两千人的唱诗班这样唱。Coro de dos mil gente. People trained for weeks and weeks to be counselors. 他们那些训练了几个月、几个月这样，最后呢，来做我们咨询员。Gente entrenado por semana de semana para ser consejeros. Two hundred and fifty thousand people coming forward. 结果呢，就二十五万人走到前面信主所谓的。Dos ciento cincuenta mil personas viniendo al frente. And when it was all over, the churches had added thirteen people. 结果一切结束之后呢，教会全部的地区教会只有十三人增长。Cuando se acabó la iglesia solamente había añadido tres personas. Now when Dr. Ketchum put that out, the Billy Graham people went. 结果当时凯森博士呢，把这个这数字刊载出去以后呢，葛培里先生完全哑口无言。Cuando de la caída se fue escrito eso, la gente Billy Graham se cayó. Books been in the the two books have been in the bookstore for years. You're looking like. What we never heard them read a book once in a while. One of them is called "Preaching to a Dying Nation." The other one's called "Today's Apostasy," and it's very clear. And the the crusade in in London. And these have to be early crusades because they shut it down, so you can't, so you cannot any longer check it out like that. They, they did they did some Kagan Dr. Kagan can tell you they did some things where you can't check it anymore. 现在他们把这个数字呢，已经搞得完全你查不到这个数字了。Y la gente Billy Graham casó de que cambiar un poco las cosas para que ya no se pueda revisar los números. They did a lot better in London than they did in San Francisco. In, in San Francisco, they added 13 people. In London, England,、uh, in the early 1950s at Haringey Arena, when he went for almost six months every night, 
They added 130 people to the churches of London. Now I don't hate Billy Graham. There are fundamentalists that do. I don't hate him. I love Billy Graham. I love his son. His son's done a good job on Decision Magazine, and I'm not upset with them. I am, and I don't believe that they're. I don't believe that they came up with this on purpose. Now we're going to do this, and we're going to do it bad. They, they, those are men that believed they were winning people. Yo amo Billy Graham y a aún el hijo de Franklin, yo no sé cómo algunos de que lo odian, pero yo creo de que ellos sí querían de que sí estaban ganando gente. You don't have to know me very long to know that I love George Beverly Shea. That's the man that sang before Billy Graham spoke. He died at 104 years old last year. I love him. His picture's on the wall in, in, in my office. And uh, I love George Beverly Shea. I love Billy Graham. And I believe those men really wanted to win people to Christ. And I believe they, at the beginning at least, they really thought they were. Yo creo de que Billy Graham y esos hombres al principio sí estaban ganando y tratando de ganar almas. You know, I was talking to one young man uh, in his late 30s that's uh, pastoring in the deep south and he told me you know Dr. Heimers here in the deep south there's no use in going door to door witnessing anymore because everybody thinks they're saved every house every door you knock on they say oh we're already saved <laughs> You don't have to be a genius to know that we are in a terrible moral condition in the United States of America at this hour. When I was a boy, they had by the reading prayer. Before I took a nap when I was in kindergarten, I remember saying they had a, the teacher had to say in the public school, in the public school, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. That's what every kindergarten student in Los Angeles said every day before they took their nap. When I was in the fifth grade, I was one of the wise men in the Christmas play. That was in the public school in Los Angeles. Public school that we sang, We three kings of Orient are, and they had the baby Jesus and all that. Right in the public school here, everybody had that. At Christmas and at Easter time, when you go through downtown, you look up, you look up at the uh, city hall, and there's a cross on the side of the city hall downtown Los Angeles. The lights form a cross on all four sides of the city hall, every Christmas, every Easter, all of that's gone. More than that, there was no such thing as pornography. There was none. <laughs> Kids were so hungry for pornography. They were hungry for it. My cousin 
who are not, who are not Christians, of course. And I remember my cousin had a book. Y los hombres no tenían pornografía, pero me recuerdo mis primos que no eran cristianos tenían un libro. And it almost made you laugh. 1927 biology book. Ya ya, yo he dicho ahora sí. Whatever you call that, it was the study of the body book. Anatomy book from 1927. And he'd say to me, Robert, you want to see something? He pulled out that that anatomy book from 1927 with a couple of little black and white pictures. Y lo mostraba en ese libro del 27 de biología, mostrando una cuanta foto y era gran escándalo. Because there wasn't any pornography. Y me dan su tonta de lo que Juan se cae. Por causa de que no había pornografía. And it didn't get nowhere. I remember when Playboy magazine came out. Playboy magazine. Oh, my goodness. Middle of the 1950s. My memory goes a long way no había abortos, pero hoy en día han matado un millón a 250 mil cada año. This is what happened. Just as a partial charity kit, you know, it's a little bit soft. Finney said, we don't need the old way of conversion. Finney said, we don't need the old way of conversion. Finney said, no, this is not the way of conversion. Finney was a very powerful. Can't get a dead person to be alive. They don't come to life by follow-up 
they come to life by being born again. Now, where Mr. Finney held his big meetings. In that part of New York where he held all those meetings in all those congregational churches, you know, by the time he was 50 years old, what they called that area? By the time Finney was 50, they called that area the Burned Over District. Why? The Burned Over District. Why? Because you couldn't get anybody to be interested in the revival. The churches were burned up. The people were burned out. It was the Burned Over District. And that has gone out and out and out and out until today, the burned over district is the United States of America. The whole country is the burned over district. And you walk up and down the streets of Los Angeles, go down, go down uh, South Central, everybody is saved. Are you saved? Why, preacher, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, I, I think I'll be just as good a chance as anybody else. Go down on Skid Row, everybody's saved. Are you kidding? Those guys on Skid Row, those drunks on Skid Row, no more scripture than you ever will. They memorize scripture every day from the King James Bible. They have to. That's the way they get their dinner. And here, and, and that's the way it is, all the way, all over the place. Look at the Crystal Cathedral. They said, oh my goodness, that's the hour of power. Where is it now? Belongs to the it belongs to the Roman Catholic Church now. And where Schuler said he's got the new Reformation, which was nothing more than boiled over Finney, they now have been purchased by the Catholic Church of Orange County and they have a mass there on Sunday and the Crystal Cathedral is gone. El Catedral de Cristal de la Orange County ahora es la, es la, el dueño es la Iglesia Católica. Dicen misa ahí y Ashula ya no está. By the time of these social problems, prayer in the school, Bible reading, pornography, uh, abortion. By the time those things came along, the churches in the United States were so weak, so weakened by Finney's decisionism that they couldn't do anything about it. 75 years earlier, none of those things would have happened. It would still be against the law to sell pornography. It would still be against the law 
uh, to uh, not allow uh, prayer in the school. Of course, there would be prayer in the school and no abortion, all of those things 75 years earlier. But by the time of the 1960s, the Congregationalists were gone. When was the last time you saw a Congregational church? I know of one congregational church. Down Wilshire Boulevard. Great big gray building. Grande edificio gris. On a good Sunday. They have about 35 or 40 elderly ladies that come there for one hour and it's locked all the rest of the time. See, the first congregational church of Los Angeles is no longer a church. It's a museum where they occasionally put on a musical program. La primera de iglesia congresional de Los Ángeles ya no es iglesia, es un museo donde vez en cuando tienen algo de música. I thought of another one, the first congregational church of Pasadena, but that's not in Los Angeles. That, that used to be the Church of America. Now we've got one or two of the Church of the Lighted Window in La Cañada is a congregational. Maybe three churches. I, I know churches, and there might be three of them. The congregational denomination is gone. Why? That was Finney's. That was Finney's denomination. That's the first one that he destroyed. Many got into the Methodist church. Oh, they went for him big. And this thing went then into the, Bap into the American Baptist, into the Southern Baptist, and it just took over everything. Because I study this, because I think about it all the time, when I look in the book of Genesis in chapter 5, I know exactly what happened. They went into apostasy. It, and they had hundreds of years to do it. It only took 200 years in America. Then we've got these little groups that come up now, and, 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 you, and you see them. Prosperity theology, you know, the little storefront, Hispanic churches. And the guy's preaching, you, you can get rich and get money and all that. It's just crazy stuff, and, and you know it is. It's not the gospel of Christ. Why? Because they've got to say something to get the people to come. I began to understand this when I was in that liberal seminary where they didn't believe the Bible and they tried to get us to give up the Bible. And I began to see the problem is that we've got millions and millions and millions of people who have never been born again, never been saved. We've got to go back to the old ways. Now there's some boys that are trying this, and I give them credit for that. I don't know how many predicadores que están tratando de le doy credito. There's a boy named Paul Washer. I'm having Paul Washer. Some of the kids that you've seen him on YouTube and some of them said, isn't it good? 
And I looked at it. I said, "No, no, it's no good." 结果有些年轻人看到了他讲到说很不错，但是我看了看说他现在没有达到的标准。Algunos lo miraron y dicen, "No es bueno." Dije, "No, no es." That's that. Look, look up. That's the most seen YouTube, religious YouTube of anybody in the country because they all want to look at it. He tells them the Southern Baptists are all lost. Yeah, I mean, most of them are lost. And that drew a big crowd. He's a Southern Baptist. He is 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 a If you know me at all, you know I hoped that he was right because I'm always looking for revival. 当时呢，我当看到他的宣道之前呢，我是希望他是一个真正宣福音的一个人。Antes de mirar a Washer, pensé que ojalá, de que ojalá sea correcto porque estoy buscando vivir. And he got it half right. 他有一半是正确。La mitad de lo tiene bien. It's big crowd of Southern Baptist kids, you know, thousands of them, and he tells them. You're lost. Here's why you're lost. Here's what's wrong with you. You're lost. You're lost. He let ten thousand people, even the most young young people, the young people, come to the church to do the Lord's Supper. He said, "You're lost. You're 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 And he gets them all realizing they're lost. That's great. I'm glad. He tells these young people, they are only in the church because their parents bring them to church. It's not their own decision. He says that they only go to church because their parents tell them to go to church. But you are lost and you are thinking that it's okay. You are happy. If only he could tell them how to get saved, how to get saved. Because he's telling them 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 how to get saved. It's another thing to tell them how to get saved. He says, "Repent, repent, repent, repent." It sounds great. Paul Ho Hua Shi 就是让你们忏悔、忏悔、忏悔，很不错，指出他们迷途。但是一样事情告诉他们迷途，另一样事情能够告诉他们如何得救。And he says, "La gente arrepiente, 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 y quizá parece bien." Except when you do that, repent, 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 repent. What what people hear is, "I've got to clean up my life. I've got to clean up my life," and that seals them. Then they are lost for sure, because you can't get saved by cleaning up your life. I don't care how clean you get your life; you'll not get it as clean as the Pharisees. And Jesus said they were twofold more a child of hell than the rest. You'll never get cleaner than the Pharisees. And Jesus said they were snakes; they were going to hell. So that the Paul washers. And 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 John MacArthur teaches the same thing. He teaches repent, repent, repent. Lordship, salvation. You know what it is? It's self. It, I don't care what they say. They can say whatever they want. It's salvation by works, salvation by works, and it's the door back to the Roman Catholic Church. I don't care what they say. You preach, repent, 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 repent. It takes people back to the Roman Catholic Church. Pero lo que hace es estar equivocado porque le dice a la gente arrepiente, arrepiente, arrepiente. Pero qué es lo que hace la gente cuando hacen eso? Solamente limpian la vida y entonces ya están sellados, perdidos. Pero de que solamente cuando se dice arrepiente, entonces la gente solamente regresa a la iglesia católica. Si Paul Washer and 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 John MacArthur they're right together. MacArthur preaches at his church. They believe the same thing. Washer preaches a little bit more uh, vigorously, but it's, it's the same theory. It's called lordship salvation. They are saying that Mike Jackson and also Paul Washer are saying that they are all lordship, and they are doing the lordship to be saved. Paul Washer is preaching a lot with John MacArthur, and he is preaching a little more strongly, but it is the same thing: salvation of the Lord. But here is the thing that gets me: they can't get out of the decisionist box. They are completely out of the decisionist box. 
Pero ellos no pueden salir de ese modo de decisionista. Round and around and around in the box. Alrededor en ese alboroto andan ellos. I know what we need. We need Bible study. necesitamos estudio bíblico. I know what we need. We need to emphasize the Holy Spirit. Yo sé que necesitamos, necesitamos ser empecé del Espíritu Santo. I know what we need, we need, we need to emphasize repentance. Y yo me achando algo chango, eh. Necesitamos tener empecé de arrepentimiento. We need by, verse by verse Bible study. This thing, that thing, this thing. They look, they look, they look. What we need is contemporary music. We'll bring the contemporary music in. Si yo también chango es así, no hay tiempo para sentar y ir a la iglesia y me quiero chango es así. Dice necesita música contemporánea de la trae. And some of them are rolling on the floor and screaming and yelling, and, and they call that the Che An's church up there in Pasadena, and that's going to bring them in. I've been studying this for over 50 years. I made the same mistakes myself. I've been studying it for over 50 years. Nothing that the evangelicals are trying is going to work. Not Paul Washer, not John MacArthur, not Che On, not the rolling on the floor, not the, the lights, the, the stuff coming out of the... None of it's going to work. Why? Because it's all different sides of Charles Finney. It's all Finney all the time. Some of this is Finney on one side, some of this is Finney on the other. See, what did Finney teach? That man could do something. That man could do something to make a revival happen. That man could do something to get saved. It's all Finney. All different sides of Finney. All Finney all the time. On channel, uh, on TBN, on uh, the TV. Finney, Finney, Finney. At Billy Graham, Finney, Finney, Finney. It's all Finney all the time. I want to tell you something. If I had to sit here in this church with just me and my wife, I don't want anything to do with decisionism. I want the old-time religion. I want the religion of Whitfield, the religion of Wesley. I want the religion of Jonathan Edwards. I don't want anything to do with modern evangelicalism. I want Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Que lo que están haciendo de solamente poniendo más música, luces, de, uh, uh, están haciendo algo solamente de distinta manera de Fini no está mal. Lo que necesitan hacer es predicar a Jesucristo y el crucificado. Sometimes it surprises me when I find somebody in a place where I didn't expect him to be that agrees with that. For instance, Dr. David F. Wells, longtime professor at Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary. Dr. David F. Wells has written some very interesting books like No Place for Truth. A veces me sorprendo cuando encuentro a alguien tal como el Dr. Wells de Gordon Conwell a, a Universidad de que ha escrito ningún lugar por la verdad. He writes so around in the bush that you probably won't be able to follow him, but he, he, he knows what's wrong. Dr. David F. Wells knows what's wrong. David F. Wells, Dr. David F. Wells sabe lo que está mal. He said, what the church now needs This is heavy duty. What the church now needs is not revival. But reformation. We are interested in satisfaction, not a holy dissatisfaction with all that is wrong. That is why we need reformation. Rather than, rather, that is why we need reformation rather than revival, unquote. In other words, you've got to go back and 
redo the whole thing from the ground up on the Bible and not on Finney. Paul Washer said, we've got to do repentance. Paul Washer said, we've got to do repentance. I've been around long enough. That I know what kind of a baloney that is. I heard Billy Graham when I was a kid in the early 1950s. Billy Graham preached harder, far harder on repentance and commitment than Paul Washer ever has. 我年轻的时候，五十年代早期就听到葛培里就讲到忏悔，比这个华舍讲的更加尖锐。Yo he visto la película para dedicar mucho más acerca de arrepentimiento que Washer. I saw Paul Washer on TV, and he was telling kids to repent, and he was saying it with a big voice. Yeah, but I heard that's a bigger voice than that. In 1952, they published his sermon this month in Decision Magazine. It's titled "A Call to Commitment." God demands our all, no less. Unquote. That was the title of Billy Graham's sermon. And if you preach that in a Paul, if Billy Graham preached that sermon in a Paul Washer meeting, it would make people mad. 我告诉你们，现在呢，葛培里在一九五二年的时候讲的到了，就是神需要我们全部。如果他现在在那个这个这个华华社，他们讲到了，我的那些人肯定会发疯。Hemos escuchado ese mensaje de Billy Graham de arrepentimiento durante la década, pero si la gente predicara eso en la reunión de Washer, estarían enojados. And I'm asking you tonight to commit yourself completely to Christ. God demands your entire life. Your thoughts, your emotions, everything in your life must come under the domination of Christ. If you don't believe that's the way Billy Graham preached in 1952, look it up on YouTube. Everything's on YouTube, and you can see. Oh, Dr. Hymers is right. Billy Graham preached ten times as strong as Paul Washer, and we didn't have revival. Why? Finney, 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 Finney. Doctor A. W. Tozer, they said he was a prophet in his own lifetime. Doctor Tozer, they heard that he was a prophet in his life. Doctor A. W. Tozer, they called him a prophet while he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. When he died, he was 63. Some people said he was a prophet when he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. He was a prophet when he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. He was a prophet when he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. He was a prophet when he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. He was a prophet when he was alive. He was only 63 when he died. He was a prophet when he was alive. It would be a mal como que se fuera un láser y a y a lo decirlo. Here's Dr. Tozer. The sermon, the the book's titled "We Travel." We've got all his books, by the way, in the bookstore. We travel an appointed way. Dr. Tozer in that book said, "We must have a new reformation." Tozer 博士在一本书，就是我们在一个新的道路行走。他这样说：“我们必须有一项新的改革。” Doctor Tozer in his libro de caminamos de una manera de que de que puesta ha dicho de que necesitamos nueva reformación. There must come a violent break with that irresponsible pseudo religion which passes today for the faith of Christ. Unquote. 
他说：“我们必须现在完全杜绝、彻底杜绝那些没有职责的那个感受，那些伪善的那个呃宗教，就是完全不相信耶稣基督的。” Tenemos que quebrarnos violentamente de esa tal llamada de religión de que se llama la fe de Jesús. Nobody listened to him, so here we are tonight. 现在呢，没有人在听他讲话了。Nadie le escuchó, pero eso estamos acá. 2014. 二零一四年了。Dos mil catorce. In Obama's America. 在这个奥巴马受诅咒的美国 ，In the America of Obama, all of the churches closed at night. 全部的教会 ，Just a very few. 全部的教会晚上关门闭户了。Todas las iglesias cerradas el domingo por la noche, menos que unas cuantas. The people all backslidden and sad and worried and wondering what's going to happen to them. Are they going to come and take our tax exemption away? You bet. You bet they will if they can. Would that have stopped them in the first century? No. Even the lions, gory mane, couldn't stop them in the first century because they were real Christians. And what we've got in evangelicalism is a bunch of phonies that really don't know Jesus Christ. Now, these Free Methodists, these wicked Christians, simply do not believe in Jesus Christ. In the first century, no matter how much they tried, even the lions and the mane could not stop them from believing. And that's the way it was before the great flood. People were calling themselves by the name of the Lord. They went headlong into apostasy. 一头堕入那些无耻的这个离道反教中。Cayeron fuertemente apostasía. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. Into the most contemptible, degraded forms of worship that the world had ever seen. A la forma peor de adoración de que se había visto desde ese tiempo. There was no respite. Tama gumbe no ren her chanhui. No vo reposo. No relief. Meo ren her de jiu. No descanso. No place to hide. Meo chang shen zhu. Ningun lugar para esconder. From the all prevailing, overpowering, suffocating apostasy that had engulfed the world. No podían escapar de esa apostasía de que había ahogado el mundo entero. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Genesis six five. 耶和华见人在地上罪恶很大，终日所思想的尽都是恶。创世纪六章五节。Vio que va que la maldad del hombre era mucha en la tierra y que todo el destino del pensamiento del corazón de ellos era continuo solamente el mal. What a horror to live in such a circumstance. 生活在这样的情形下多么可怕。Que horror vivir en tal circunstancia. What hopelessness one must have felt. 那些其中那些人是多么的绝望。Que falta de esperanza de vivir en Dios. Living in such a world bleak. A bleak and tortured experience. Living in such a world is just how miserable. Living in that world, I am so tired. These four kids have been listening to me every minute tonight. Living in a world like that must have been a terrible experience. Living in such a world is just how miserable. Living in that world, I am so tired. Living in such a world is just how miserable. Living in that world, I am so tired. Living in such a world is just how miserable. Living in that world, I am so tired. Living in such a world is But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. 唯有挪亚在耶和华眼前蒙恩。为了挪亚，他有可能向上天的呼喊，来，还有吗Amen and amen, and that's the old-time religion. They sing about it. The Finny people, they learned to sing that. They took that song, and that was written by John Newton way before Finny, and they sang it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound! But they don't know anything about it. All they know is, is, is they. You know, when I was a kid, you know how many times I came forward. Sit down, just a minute. I'm almost through. I'm almost done. You know how many times I came forward when I was a kid, 
At least, at least a hundred times. 当时我年轻的时候，走到前面至少一百次。You know how many times I said the sinner's prayer? At least a hundred times. And I was still lost. The day I did get saved, I didn't pray any prayer at all. I didn't come forward at all. Young people. You've got to know Jesus Christ. He's got to be real in your life. It isn't enough to say some words. It will not take you through this terrible apostasy that we're living in. Nothing can keep you for God if you don't know Jesus Christ Himself. No amount of of、uh, of coming forward, no amount of sinner's prayer, no amount of rededications. It will not keep you if you don't know Jesus Christ personally. 如果你自己本人不认识主耶稣基督，他自己的话，你根本不可能经历这一切的离道反教的末世的这个沉沦。Having no importa de cuántas veces has orado, no importa de cuántas dedicaciones hayas hecho, no, eso no te ayudará en la apostasía en cual vives. But if you do know Jesus Christ, nothing can stop you. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The fl worldwide flood couldn't stop him. If you know Christ, you'll be saved. If you don't know Him. You'll be lost. If you know Jesus Christ, you will be saved. If you don't know Him, you will be lost. If you know Jesus Christ, you will be saved. If you don't know Him, you will be lost. Pero Noé halló gracia ante los ojos de Jehová. Si tú conoces a Jesús, tú serás salvo, y si no, estarás perdido. Heavenly Father, please take the words of this poor sermon tonight and use them to help somebody to see that nothing will save them except Jesus, who died on the cross and shed His blood and rose from the dead. Only that Jesus can save them. 我们祈求您在天的父，请请再请你利用这我们今天讲道中间那么可怜那么几个字，让这个年轻人看到，除非耶稣基督能够拯救他们，他们自己是无法得救。Ayuda padre de que alguien vea de que solamente Jesús puede salvarlos. And make this sermon as weak and poor as it was, make it a help to some that have been watching it on the worldwide YouTube and on our website. 利用我们今天讲的软弱无能那么几个词句，帮助网站上面听到、看到的一些朋友。Ayuda que esto me dé a sermón, sea una ayuda a la gente que lo está mirando en la internet de YouTube. And our prayer tonight, O、oh、God, is simply, Lord, send a revival and let it begin in me. 我们今天晚上祈求主啊，遣送复兴，让它在我内心开始。Nuestra oración simplemente es Lord, send a revival. Lord, <coughs> send a revival. Lord, send a revival, and let it begin in me. Amen. And if you're watching this. On YouTube, and you still with us? Think about it. 如果你是通过 YouTube 上面观看我们的视频的话，如果你仍然在观看，要思考一下我们今天讲的。Dr. Kagan and I have written a book on this. It's called Today's Apostasy. 凯根博士跟我合写了一本书，叫做《当今的离道反教》。Dr. Kagan, you must read the book of the Apostasy of Today. It's free on our website. 我们网站上可以免费的阅读。It's gratis in the site on the web. R L H Sermons. It's coming right up in just a minute on the bottom of the screen. Go to that R L H Sermons dot com. Go to that page, and look, and you'll see today's apostasy. Click it on. You can read the whole book free of charge. All of the things that I've said tonight are in that book. Today, 晚上我们讲到的全部的内容都在我们那本书里面可以读到。Tú puedes leer 
La apostasía de hoy en el asunto de red, todo lo que he dicho está en ese libro. If you have a question about how to be saved, or if you have other questions to ask me, you can write to me. My email is going to come up on the bottom. You can write to me. I'll answer every one of them. 如果你有任任何问题的话，我的这个电邮地址很快出现在屏幕上，可以发电邮给我问这个问题，我们回答你。Si tienes una pregunta de cómo ser salvo, me puedes escribir en español. La correspondencia electrónica, el email, estará en la pantalla un segundo y os daré respuestas. You can even telephone me. My home Telephone number is going to be there. Give me a call if you want to talk about it. You 甚至可以打电话给我，我的电话号码也会出现在文屏幕上面啊，可可以用英文来打电话跟我谈话。Ah, me puede llamar en el teléfono de la casa que va a estar en la pantalla en un segundo, pero si llama tiene que ser en inglés solamente por favor. But be sure you speak in English when you call. 但打电话的朋友必须要讲英文。Si llaman en la casa tiene que ser en inglés por favor. You can email me in Chinese or 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 in Spanish and we'll get we'll get back to you. 你可以用中英或者西班牙语发电邮给我们，都会用同样的语言回信。Pero si puedes escribir en español y te daré respuesta. Heavenly Father, please bless everyone tonight that watched the sermon. 我们在天父们祈求赐福一切我们观看我们礼拜而且在座的朋友。Padre Celestial bendiga cada persona que miró el sermón. Amen. Now, Lord, we pray that Thou bless the food we're going to have and bless our time together, and we ask it in Jesus' name, Amen. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're going to meet in upstairs in about three or four minutes. We're To come to Jesus. 如果你仍未得救的时候，我鼓励你、督促你信靠基督。Si no eres salvo, te animo que vengas a Jesús. When I was a young person, I went forward uh, many, many times uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. 要知道我年轻的时候，我许多次走到前面去得救或者重新奉献我的一生，但是那样的方式一直没有使我得救。Cuando yo era joven, yo fui al frente para ser salvo muchas, muchas veces, pero no fue así. When I did get saved, it was a very simple matter. Cuando yo tuve el tiempo, fue muy sencillo. Cuando sí fui salvo, fue una cosa muy simple. I simply came to Jesus and trusted Him, and He saved me and washed me clean with His blood. 我就是简简单单信靠了耶稣基督，相信了他，用他呢，用他的宝血洗净了我的罪孽。Simplemente vine a Jesús, confié en él y él me lavó con su sangre. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that before that I was saved, the day I was saved. 要知道，在我得救那天之前呢，我一直没有意识到耶稣到底是在何处，现在在何处，这非常重要的一点。Es muy importante que sepa dónde es que está Jesús. Yo no creo que pensé de eso antes del día que fui salvo. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us. Uh, he's not on the cross still. Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand. Of God the Father in heaven. 如今呢，耶稣并没有在我们周围，各处那个空呃虚无缥缈中间飘，也没有在石架上，更没有在我们心中圣灵在我们心中。但是圣经重重复复讲到，耶稣基督在上天神的右手边。Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús, en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you. He's not angry with you. 耶稣爱着你，他并没有生你的气。Jesús te ama, no está enojado contigo. God the Father is angry with the wicked every day, but Jesus came into the world. The Son of God came into the world to save sinners, and He loves you. 神呢，每一天都生那些罪人的气，因为为他们犯的罪。但是耶稣基督来到人间，他为了是拯救罪人。Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Even though he was angry with sin, he loved the world and sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。
de tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo en Egipto para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus and it will be a very simple matter. Cuando estás cansado de tu pecado, entonces uh, uh, es un negocio fácil para que Dios te traiga a Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. Reciente estaba leyendo de nuevo en la conversión al testimonio de la Dr. Tozer. Dr. Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. Dr. Tozer escuchó a alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. Fue la primera vez que había escuchado el evangelio. He was 17 years old. 17 años de edad. And Dr. Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. He ran home and went up into the attic of his, house, of his father's house. Doctor Torsh no acogió de la casa después de escuchar eso, no le habló con nadie, se puso enseguida a la azotea de la casa. And he got down on his knees and came to Jesus. Se arrodilló y vino enseguida a Jesús. And he went on to become one of the great preachers of the 20th century. Fue uno de los grandes predicadores del siglo XX. Perhaps that would be a good way for you uh, to do. If you heard this sermon and you feel that you're lost, get in a quiet place by yourself. Quizás eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado de solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus. And his blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. Incante en tus rodillas y ven a Jesús, Él lavará tus pecados pasado, presente y futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all he requires. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out, he said in the sixth chapter of John. Ese camino bien, no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then if you do come to Christ, I pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. No hay mejor consejo que te puedo, uh, puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia y esté ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 若可能话, 这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 这版本, 而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗. Y si es posible, asegúrate que sea de la King James uh, y uh, los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and Tell the pastor that you've been saved. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church, 
and be there every time the doors open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. 所以我给你最重要的这个建议就是进入一个地方教会，在那里面就是在恩典之下不断成长，而且拿出你的十一奉献交给了地方教会。Métete ya en una iglesia local es una de las mejores maneras de crecer en gracia y conocimiento de un diezmo ahí Dios te bendecirá. Now I would like to ask you to support this ministry and help us. 我现在希望你能够帮助我们的网站上面传道事业。Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many many languages and we're adding more languages almost every month. 要叫我们这是通过网站各种各样的十几种语言，而且我们越来越多的语言，不断的每个月都要加上去，所以这是传遍世界的一个福音。Entonces el mundo va a través del mundo la red de muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80 percent of those who watch these sermons, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website. Eighty percent of them are pastors. Kagan, 我是我们教会的一个统计学家，他这样估计，就是在我们网站上面读我们讲到那些朋友呢，百分之八十都是宣道士。Y el doctor Kagan, que hace las estadísticas con nosotros, da piensa de que ochenta por ciento de la gente que ve estos videos, escucha de esa, son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as as I often do, uh, to give them a sermon idea. And、uh, in the third world. Uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要叫很多的牧师，当他们自己根本没有不知道要宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多在第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么，逐字逐句就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda a pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países terceros mundo son las están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago. But one third of the world does not have any, not even one missionary doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world. In one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲还澳大利亚等等，那么西方世界传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de, de, de que hablan inglés. Jesus said, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." 耶稣这样告诫我们，要往普天下去，向万民传福音。Eso dijo de id a todo da el mundo predicado el evangelio a cada criatura. But our Western missionaries cannot get into one third of the world. That's about two and a half billion people where our missionaries cannot go. 但是我们西方这个传教士大概有三分之一的地区，大概也就是两亿五千万的人，根本就是我们啊得的啊达不到我们这些呃西方传教士那个啊他们这个声音之下。Un tercio del mundo, como un billón de gente, los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir ahí. But the native pastors are there. 但是有本地的传教士在那里。Pero los pastores nativos sí están ahí. And they are the only way, they are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. 在那些地区，就是唯一通过地方的本地传教士来把福音传出去，是唯一的方式了。Es la única manera de repartir los evangelios es a través de los nativos pastores. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said, "Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job." 第二次世界大战开始的时候，温斯顿·丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成的。” A principio de, de la guerra de mundial, Churchill mandó una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending the printed sermons, word for word. On the internet, 
to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. 这就是我们通过这个网站所要办到的事情，把这个福音的信息逐字逐句的传到那些三分之一就是入穆斯林教国家，还有那佛教的国家，各种各样的一个呃传教士去不到的地方，把那些这个武器交到那些传教士的手中。Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos mandando estos sermones a escrito palabra por palabra a los lugares musulmanes a a de otros del mundo que donde los misioneros no pueden ir. We're giving those native pastors the tools. And they will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We put these translation tools in the hands of the native pastors. They will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We put these translation tools in the hands of the native pastors. They will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We put these translation tools in the hands of the native pastors. They will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature. In that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go, we just put this tool to the hands of the native pastors, so they can go to that third part of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put this tool to the hands of the native pastors, so they can go to that third part of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put this tool to the hands of the native pastors, so they can go to that third part of the world where our missionaries cannot go. We just put this tool to the hands of the native pastors, so they can go to that third part of the world where our missionaries cannot go. I am asking you to help us add more languages and more translators. Now, I just want to ask you to help us to add more translators and more translators. I am asking you to help us to add more languages and more translators. I am asking you to help us to add more languages and more translators. I am asking you to help us to add more languages and more translators. People in our own church translate the sermons into Chinese, Japanese. Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, Spanish, and of course I give them in English, and so we are able to do those five languages. But all the rest of the languages, we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. Yeah, 在我们本教会这些朋友们已经翻译成了中文、西班牙语，而且日文，还有一些 Tagalog， 就是西墨西哥呃那些。但是呢，其他的这个语言呢，都是要有其他的，我们要啊啊，给他们一些资啊资助，给他们一些报答，让他们来帮助我们做翻译。Ni nosotros de en la nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a a japonés, en a coreano, de en a chino, a y va pues claro en inglés y a pero tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up. But to add more languages, we're going to need your help. Now, on the website, we have raised a lot of money for the language of the Philippines. But to add more languages, we need your help. 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 你能不能等个保证每个月来啊提拿出一笔这个啊资金来帮助我们，帮助我们把更多的语言加在我们网站上面。Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos a con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas. If you can do it, I'm asking you to send fifty dollars a month. If that's not possible, twenty-five dollars a month, and make a monthly pledge to this ministry to help us get these sermons out in those parts of the world. Where none of where none of our missionaries can go. So I hope you can give every month a few dollars. If it's not possible, it's only five dollars. You can give five dollars. You can help us to spread the gospel to the world in the world. Three percent of the world. We can't go to the far places. If you can help us, I ask you to give five dollars. If it's not possible, it's only five dollars. You can give five dollars. You can help us to spread the gospel to the world in the world. Three percent of the world. We can't go to the far places. Because the internet goes everywhere. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their、uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen, and often、uh, they circulate these sermons and、uh, pass them on to others. So, would you help us with a monthly gift? 所以那些本地的牧师可以打印出来，或者把它抄下来，或者做拷贝等等，或者是流传传给另一个人。能，你能不能帮助我们做好这些工作呢 ？Frequentemente los pastores escriben palabra por palabra de los lo que se ve en la la computadora, pero la cosa es que por favor ayúdanos mensualmente. And if you can do that, 
uh, you could send the money with a credit card or you could send it uh, by Western Union and uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money if possible. And the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. 你要是做奉献,先给我们交货,让你可以写支票,一会儿呢,银幕上在底下就可以看到这些寄给我们这个地址,同时也可以用你的信用卡或者是配票,或者是Western Union,都可以做奉献给我们交货,请你帮助我们。So keep watching and uh, that Information will come up on the screen in just a moment. So Sigue mirando y esa información se verá en momento en la pantalla.